Hey Lions, welcome to our 2020-2021 school year. We are so excited to have you guys back. Mr. Lozar and I are looking forward to an awesome year in campus ministry, and we hope you take advantage of all the opportunities and get involved this year. Some of the things that we have going on throughout the year are Kairos retreats, where many students get together, they get to know each other, they get to know a little bit more about their faith, they take a, a break from classes and just focus on themselves for about three days. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Mary. Uh, one thing that I really liked about Kairos is you get to meet a lot of new people that you never met and you'd be friends with. Like last year before the winter Kairos, Mario and I weren't really friends and now we're pretty close, so I think it's really cool. Yeah, and I think no matter where you're at with your faith, I think you should still just take that leap and go for it because I think you're, there's always room to grow and I think you're gonna get a lot out of it. Labra is one of my favorite activities where we feed and build relationships with over 70 adults and 30 kids each week and we get to see them and bring joy to their week as well. St. Benedict and Joseph Labra, poor in the eyes of man, but rich in the eyes of God, pray for us. Hi, I'm Jake, I'm a senior, and for everybody who's questioning going on Labra, I definitely recommend it. It was something I got involved in last year after I went on Kairos, so after Ms. McKean convinced me to go, and it ended up being something I do like almost every Tuesday. It's something I, it brings joy to my heart to do, just to, bring hope and joy to all these people down, downtown and in poverty-strucken areas. To see people living in all different situations like our friends in the tents. That need things more than we do. And yeah, it's just a great experience all around and I hope to see you on Tuesdays. We have Daughters of the King where our girls meet, talk about scripture, do fun activities. Another thing that I'm very excited about is called All the King's Men, where we have a men's group where we're gonna learn different um, skills from life and different spiritual out aspects and we talk just generally as a men's group. We have adoration each week and reconciliation with Father Caddy here in the chapel so you're welcome to stop by whether it's just for a few minutes um, or for longer to listen to some music, to pray, to confess your sins, whatever you might want to do that week. What I like best about having adoration and reconciliation at NDCI is that it gives me the opportunity to calm myself and center myself uh, during the school day. So I'm able to go to the chapel and I can praise and adore Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. I can talk to him and tell him all my worries and my stresses. And then I get to receive the Sacrament of Reconciliation um, and I can confess my sins and start fresh. And it, it gives me the opportunity to calm myself and just restart my day. We have our pallbearers, our St. Joseph of Arimathea Society, and they are pallbearers for people who don't have family members or friends. I really enjoy being a part of the St. Joseph of Arimathea Society because it really gives me a sense of giving back to my community. And uh, I feel that it's more than just like a club. I feel that while we get to leave school, we also get to help other people who really can't help themselves. And I, that's really my favorite part is just helping those who can't help themselves big thing that we need is we need your ideas. We've gotten great ideas in the past when we're creating fundraisers or making blankets or collecting canned food, but we need more ideas. We want to keep make, keeping everything fresh and we want to make sure that you guys are invested in it and the way we do that is we get, we get you involved. So we hope to see you down in the lounge and around this year and we're looking forward to an awesome year.